Hello, my members of la familia. My number is Amaro Dago. Son bienvenidos de nuevo a mi canal. To my English subscribers, hello family members. My name is Amaro Dago and welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, I'm originally from Nigeria and I bring to you content based on how you can obtain your visas, immigration news, and how you can live your best life right here in España. If you think you can relate to this kind of content, please do well to consider subscribing by pressing the red subscribe button down below. Turn on your bell notifications so whenever I post, you'll be the first to get notified. Like in this video if you like my kind of content sharing this content to other people who you think may need problem solving videos just like this ones and also leaving your thoughts on the said topic or subsequent topics you would like to see here on my channel disclaimer i am not an immigration lawyer neither am i a recruiter this video is brought to you based on my personal research and experience so do well to do your own research before you take your next step without further ado let's get straight into today's video <laughs> If you clicked on this video, you know why we are here. We are going to be talking about the crazy changes that have occurred in the Spanish consulate in Nigeria and um, some of the things that you need to take note before you apply for your study visa. I have so many subscribers who are currently doing this. So if you are in that category, please do well to watch this video. Like, don't miss any step because you might just be skipping out on very important information that you need in order to get that spanish study visa that you so desire Actually, i did a video I, i'll post it here i did a video talking about some of the changes that have occurred in spanish embassy but that video i definitely did not do it on time because right now in april on the, the 1st of April, I think, um, there were changes in the um, in Spanish leg legislation and so a lot of changes have occurred and have been implemented currently and some of these changes affected the consular service in countries, in my country. So I'm talking about my country because I have first-hand information on that, but let's go straight into it. All right, so concerning the first thing we'll be talking about, I'm going to be looking down on my phone, so please pay attention. The first thing we'll be looking about is appointment booking. That's the first thing I want to talk about. And basically, before now, appointment booking used to take a lot, a long time, especially after um, last year. In fact, it has been happening for a long time. I can't remember when appointment booking was easy to get. It used to take like one month for, for them to allot um, a it did to you for legalization it used to take a very it's very hard for you to get your visa submission date as well and now um appointment booking for legalization in fact if you book this week next week they will give you a date people are still booking using the idea that it used to take a long time before they issue an appointment if you are in this category, please do well to get all your documents ready before you book for that appointment. Don't book your appointment thinking that it will take a long time. You will just be surprised that if you book today, which is Wednesday, they'll be giving you next week Tuesday to come for your appointment. And if you are not ready, you will, you will not be able to, you know, come for the appointment. And this is not good because you're going to be taking another person's position. You know and that's lot so it's better you is either you send them a message cancelling your appointment or don't book at all if your documents are not legalized it has also come to my notice as well that now the whole study visa process legalizations everything used to happen in the consulate that's um 21 kofor by your make territorial and lagos that's for those in nigeria but now um submission is actually happening in bls which is like their agency that handles the whole arrangement of documents for tourist visa they used to be the one that handles it they'll just you know arrange it properly and send it down to the embassy but right now they're also the ones handling study visa so if you have applied before or you have an idea that it's in the consulate it happens it's no longer in the consulate you have to retrace your step and look for the address of the pls agent representatives of the spanish government so it's in their office you're going to submit your documents and supporting documents and they'll be taking it over to the spanish embassy and of course so when they finish when the spanish embassy is the spanish embassy will issue the visa or give you the verdict so that you get a positive 
verdict or a negative verdict that if you get a negative verdict you still they will still transport it back to bls for you to get your verdict next one is prizes on legalization and lawyer fee oh god this one is really 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 i used to say before that study visa is not so expensive but now my dear study visa is beginning to look very expensive and i will not blame the spanish government because every day the naira keeps depreciating i'm sure this has not happened in other countries i'm sure the fee that they were collecting before is still the fee they are collecting now because their currency is stable ours is not so for legalization of documents this has come this ha this started from 19500 they used to collect 195 it went up to 34,800 or 34,900. From my last video, you will see that. Now, legalization is as high as 69,800. Just a little short of 70K for one document of legalization. So, if you are legalizing your police character certificate, you'll be paying 69,000. Hmm? Remember, you have to legalize your police character certificate, you have to legalize your affidavit of age declaration and attestation of birth, you have to legalize your um, school certificate, right? All these things, you times 69,800 times the number of documents you're legalizing. Then, you also need to do authentication of photocopies. Authentication of photocopies used to cost 1,500. It increased, increased to two nine. Now authentication of photocopy is now five thousand six hundred. Can you beat that? Now you have to authenticate each of these documents because all of them will have to have photocopies. You need to authenticate all of them. You times it by the number of documents that you have, and you'll be getting the amount you're supposed to take to the embassy. Then. If you are now somebody who is coming with dependents, because in Spain you can actually bring your dependents. If you have a husband, a spouse, a significant other that you're bringing into Spain, you will need to now add his own documents to the list because you will need police character certificate, you will need affidavit of age declaration and attestation of birth. The only thing you will not need is a certificate because he's going as a dependent. You are the principal candidate. He will need to add all these things together, multiply it, and know the amount your spouse will be needing. If you now have one child, two children, three children, you have to do this to all of them. And the money keeps increasing. So you see why I say that now it's beginning to look like study visa is no longer affordable. It's beginning to look pretty expensive. Then, well, let's leave that aside. If you are coming with study visa and you have a marriage certificate, you know you have to like legalize your marriage certificate as well. And you, before you do that, you need to like bring original true copy. You know all these details because I've done this in several of my videos. Please do want to check out this video up here. So now the fee you need to pay was before it was like 80,000 for people who did their marriages in maybe in the East. 70,000 if you did your marriage in Lagos. It increased to a standard fee of 150,000. I did it in the video that I made earlier. Now... Hmm. Now is a whole different ball game. So for those people who um, this is what we call lawyer fee. Remember, documents subject to verification attract these fees. Now they've divided it again. They said two hundred thousand for documents in Lagos states, two hundred and fifty thousand for documents in Edo Delta and the Western states. So anywhere in the Western states, two fifty. 300,000 for documents issued in Abuja and all northern states. Additional fee of 10,000 for each document from National Population Commission included for verification. So if they need to verify your National Population Commission document, you pay 10,000. Additional 50K hmm, for marriage certificate and attestation of bachelorhood and spinsterhood, which is included for verification. So if this is your case, know that these are the amounts you need to pay in order to get your document legalized. The next thing I want to talk about is, this is very important, please. There are a lot of people who are coming for study visa and they, are, they don't have the money re required 
to get access into or to even get the visa in the first place so they are using sponsors please and please do well to check out this video where i mentioned about the pof that is needed in order to access if you're coming as a dependent if you're coming as a single person and so the next thing i'm talking about is happening currently and how spanish governments have been refusing visas left right and center i want to talk about some of the issues that are making them refuse this visa so that you don't say i didn't do anything good for you number one issue that is making them refuse this visa left right and center is when you apply for your visa late when you apply for visa your classes has already started your classes started three months you're applying now they are going to refuse that visa even if you have all your documents your proof of form is good to go you're going to be refused because you're running running late why are you applying for a visa when your classes are four months gone I have like three students who experience this and i'm coming here to share these experiences with you because you might just be making that mistake maybe something delayed you if this is your situation please do well to reach out to the school telling them that you need to defer your admission there's something called deference you can defer that admission and they will give you a new uh, um, admission letter you know that new admission letter will have the new dates for resumption so you take your time and now apply for this visa and get the visa because anything that makes you just go you know you just want to swing it anyhow it is that swinging will land you in where you are like you're not going to move an inch because spanish government will definitely deny you that visa as i've said study visa has is no longer cheap it's no longer a, a visa that you will apply with on seriousness and you know i have a lot of people who come to me and you just see that they are on serious if you're spending this amount of money doing legalization doing verification going here to get documents transferring to spanish embassy paying visa fee please it's high time you take your study visa very very serious if you want to get study visa to a country i will advise you do not pay agents because agents can definitely make you not get that visa due to the fact that they get a lot of fake documents and they don't even know the process it takes so they don't have the experience that's what i'm saying in essence and if you don't have the experience how are you going to tell me how to do something when you don't have the experience some of them are using you to learn how to do the work and eventually they will refuse the only thing they're after is their money so don't use agents you can do this thing yourself but of course you need guidance in order for you to get guidance the cheapest route to go to is by looking for a consultant that can help you to assess this visa without spending so much money you're going to be paying for their services of course because nothing is free even in freetown but it will be way cheaper than fellow family members the only case scenario where i would say you can use agents is if you're going in a group because agents will be the one that will put everything together and submit for you a station whereby you're going single-handedly or with your family you don't need any agent look for a consultant on YouTube like how I am now you can consult me even if you don't want to consult me use another person that you think is credible you know that you know that knows what she's doing or what he is doing use them to gain access some of them have come through the routes that you're taking don't you think they will be in a better position to help you I think they will so do well to do your own research find out the best people that can do the job don't go and use people that don't know what they are talking about or people that have never even they are not even in the country how do you want them to they are with you there how would they know what is happening here it's very very dicey so please do not make the mistake of giving your money to people who cannot be trusted fraud stars and all that because all these things exist and they are happening and people are busy crying about spending money in sources that are not credible the next thing i would like to talk about as well in this case is that when you're using proof of for proof of funds anything that will make you to go and uh, borrow money from for microfinance bank hmm? from mortgage bank hmm? don't do it don't do it <laughs> if you do it you'll be getting a visa rejection thank you very much i think i just want to end today's video here because i don't want this video to be too long if you have questions if you have queries if you have comments leave them down in the comment section down below use my services 
If you want to ask some other questions that you don't want to leave in the comment section, please do well to leave it up using my details on here. Remember, I work with authorized Spanish translators and you need this service if you're coming for your study. Don't even, you know, get admission into Spanish universities. So thank you very much. Translation of documents take only 24 hours. I work with authorized Spanish translators. So do well to use my service. Without further ado, binge another of my content. Don't be a stranger. Guys, when you watch a video and you like it, how do you tell me that you like it? By clicking the like button, by leaving a comment. Good job. Please, can you do other videos? Suggestions of subsequent topics. And subscribe to my channel. Turn on your bell notification. That's all I can say today. See you on my next one. Till then, hasta luego.